see? Yeah. <laughs> Feels like forever. Anyway, today we are taking you along to a day trip to Brighton. Um, us Londoners call it London by sea. Well, South Londoners, because like North London, you've got Crackton. South End. Or South End, yeah. So Brighton is a very vibrant place. Um, a lot of Londoners move here because it is just like London. Yeah. Very multicultural, very... With it? Yeah, we're very yeah. with it, yeah. Yeah, uh, very with it. And it's 40 minutes on the train. 40 minutes on the train, yeah, um, which cost us about 15 quid return each. Yeah. Yeah. And I just want to apologise, first of all, because I have got coffee. So we bought a coffee at the station and mine leaked all over me, so. It's got old in the lid. in the lid. A different <laughs> one from drinking. So. We left a very sunny London and we've arrived at quite a cloudy Brighton. It is still quite warm, so the fingers crossed the weather stays quite good. But yeah, Brighton, look it up, people. It's a cool place, for yeah. sure. So, we'll see you in a bit. It's typical, isn't it? There's lots of buses. If you look straight down the road, just back to the side of the bus, you'll see the sea. So it's not too far, about a 10 minute walk. Yeah, minute walk. Yeah. And we've got our boys meeting us, they've come up in the car because they just decided to do that. So we've met up with our sons and son-in-law and they've come down in the car and they've had to pay £22 to park. That's how bougie Brighton is, that's all I'm saying. So we are making our way down towards the lanes. So that is a place where there's lots of boutique shops and all that sort of thing. And maybe pick up a few Christmas presents. What do you think, kid? <laughs> His face says it all. So if you haven't met him before, this is my son Ethan. Hola. <laughs> That's for the Spanish viewers. Yeah, so um Yeah, it's quite nice. You can see some quite quite a few characters along here, lots of pumps and people with lots of tattoos and stuff like that. Um yeah. It's it's nice with there. I don't think I could live here because it's way too expensive. Oh? Nice and colourful. Some nice bits in there. Aren't that looks well cool, isn't it? That's the sort of thing. Oh look. Yeah. What do you think of the village would like that like, where we're gonna live? To put all flowers and what have you. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Say hello, Carl. <laughs> A tad camera shy, me thinks. So, if you want some retro stuff at a reasonably price, they had leather jackets from like 30 quid up to like 130 quid. My son with the yellow bag has purchased one. I come across loads of jackets I absolutely loved, but I need to just have a little bit more weight. But yeah, I think this is another um, retro place behind me. So, maybe one more row of shops and then lunch, maybe. So we found ourselves in a traditional um, Brighton festival <laughs> from Mexico. <laughs> so, like, the, the request was full English or a burger. So, we're in Mexican. Yeah, we're in Mexican. Yeah. And we're having burritos and tacos and, 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 and sweet potato fries. And, 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 you know, all the normal things. Yeah. And it's really funny because we were talking about what we've got to have for dinner yeah. to make tomorrow, and it's going to probably be the eaters or something. So, yeah, we'll do a little bit of food. I'll show you what it comes in. I was going to say, if you're really lucky, you might even get to see it. Depends how big it is, how hot it is. Mm. Where we remember But um, it would be purchasing, so I've got some Christmas gifts, so I'm not going to say what they are, even though it'll be next Christmas when you see this. But um, some nice stones and what have you. And maybe I'll show you this when we're back home. Um, yeah. yeah. On the train on the way home. Well, that's why you don't get £3 and as well. So these are called. 
Tasting spice in it and just yeah, that, no. and to my mind, they needed um, maybe some sour cream or something to go with it rather that than that other nice. sauce because the sauce wasn't all bad. Yeah, I mean, my son um, called it like dirty water, that was it. I mean, he didn't have no taste to it, did it? So, such but yeah, out of 10, it's good, eh? Isn't it? I'd say, I'd say, I wouldn't give it no more than eight. I think yeah. we wait quite a lot of time to be served, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the service wasn't great, and it. That's the thing, you have a service charge, don't you? And like, between us all, we paid it, but yeah. But yeah, I'll go back, I'll go with Camera again, try yeah. something else maybe. Yeah. Yep, so that's it. See you in a minute. Just want to show you a bit of Brighton. So, Brighton has a stony beach, which either you love or you don't. Kevin prefers a stony beach, but not myself. And this is the old pier that burnt down many, many moons ago, but they've kept skeleton remains of it as you can see lots of bits and bobs eateries and that's the new pier over there got a fun fair on it massive wind farm up there yeah. where they farm wind yes yeah, so if you wonder where your farts go Which way, boys? Carl, Ethan, Joe. There you go, the old, the world's oldest electric train. The world's oldest photographer. <laughs> We're playing a game on the beach. None of us have got a cup to throw the stones in. So, so what are they all using? My clock. Can you believe it? Look. Oh, no, the anklet. I've got a new anklet. Get one clock. The other. First one oh. to get a stone in the clock is the winner. And Carl did the first one. The first time. <sighs> the things you do for your kids, eh? You know, we've got a new member of the royal family so we're just trying to look see what like this is i can't make it out kev mr well v is that v i've just seen it v is that it v r yeah, if it's oh VR, that there you go victoria just spikes a spike. Yeah. Is really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah.
I'm tuning. You lost big time, Carl. You lost 460 to 1280. That's it, you're done. You're done again. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria. Oh, I'm over. I actually could have burned. So, did you see that? We also have a We've got one. Got one. <laughs> People, but there was an earthquake in New Zealand yesterday and it made the house over here topple over. It's <laughs> not. I think it's funny. bread that's in date. Pick your person's favourite bit. So I'm just going to put some um, tangy basil relish in that and the other one I put some saranch. I'll just say this saranch. Everyone loves this stuff. With me I think it's going to be good old brown sauce. Butter both sides that helps the bacon stick to the bread. Put your sauce in. Putting the cheese, I'm putting mozzarella, they didn't have sliced here, so I'm just going for grated. Don't skip. You can obviously put slices in of whatever cheese that you like. I just do like the melty part of it. Flip that over, press down, and then streaky bacon, that's the way to go. So, take your bacon and Make sure you slightly overlap it if you can, if you've got enough. Okay, and then turn that over. And then because you've got the other side, the bacon is going to stick to the butter. Just turn this one over. I want to get the sides done. So I'm now just going to flip it over here. Yeah. So I'm going to flip. Ooh, look at that, looking good. And when the other side starts to cook, I'm then going to put it on each of its sides, just holding it there for a few seconds. Just put the bacon around the other way. I'm going to flip it over again. And there we go. It's all going to stick to itself. And that is the next one ready. I'm just going to kind of keep it down a little bit. I'm cooking at my son's apartment. My son and his partner's apartment. I'm going to just 
butter and just stir that for it. I'm just going to hold that there for a few moments and then we're going to do the other bone. That smells so good. You ready for this, Joe? I'm going to do the side. We are going to cut this beauty. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I know she's not, but hey, here we go. And there is your delicious bacon sandwich. It's called an inside out bacon sandwich. Delish. Guys, so um, our friend Charlie has asked us if we would do a little video on a club sandwich. So a club sandwich to me is a sandwich that's got bacon, lettuce and tomato, that type of thing, or a steak sandwich. Some people think it's open, some people think it's closed. Um, to me, a club sandwich is closed, cut into quarters, and sometimes you put a cocktail stick in it to keep it together. And I've seen some of Charlie's sandwiches and I'm going to do a vegetarian one because we eat quite a lot of vegetarian food. So I've got some seeded bread. I don't like wet bread. It doesn't agree with me. So I've got some seeded wet bread toasted because I also feel, in my opinion, a club sandwich should be toasted. I like my toast cold. All right. So what I'm going to do is I've got some pesto. I've given it a bit of a stir. And instead of butter, I'm going to be using pesto. Obviously, I think... When it comes to whatever you think a club sandwich is, you've got to put the things in that you enjoy most. And I absolutely love pesto. Kev's not a big fan, but our son does a really good pesto pasta. And we had that this week, it's really, really nice. So that's the base. That is your pesto slices. Then I've, you know, on the grill pan, done some halloumi. And I do prefer it a bit more well done than this. But in this hot weather that we're having it at the moment, everything's just getting really, really soft. I do like sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm going to put some sun-dried tomatoes on that. And to me, you cannot have a club sandwich unless you've got some iceberg lettuce. And we've got some here. So I do like to break it up a little bit. So when I don't bite into it, it don't go everywhere. You rub a bit on top. And there you have it, Willow's Club Sandwich. Go give it a try, ain't I? I will cut it in quarters because that's what you're supposed to do with a club sandwich. It smells divine. I absolutely love the Lumi. Let's give it a go. really banging if you're not a fan of pesto maybe a garlic mayonnaise or something but that is really yummy one bite no i have sandwich pesto halloumi sun dried tomatoes on cold crunchy whole grain bread with iceberg lettuce bang see you